Hello everyone, I'm Sif the Cash Gamer and welcome back to another video. Let me just say, okay, I filmed with my hood on and now look at, my hair is all like floofy and like, I put my hood on to do the exact opposite of what has happened to my hair, which is, to me, it looks like complete garbage now. But, that's besides the point. Hello, welcome to a Civ 6 video. I haven't made one of these in forever, but I, I don't know, I want to talk about the game more. And something that I noticed that seems to me at least that I haven't thought about enough is there really was not a lot of content when the game first came out, okay? So I um, I own all of the DLC for this game, okay? All of the nations, all of the, the two DLCs, and I can tell you, Civ Six with the DLCs is super fun. Is it worth a hundred whatever... I think it's like I've spent a total of $150 on this game. Because I know that the some stuff was at a discount. And I can tell you, this game isn't worth $150. Okay? Maybe with the DLCs, I would pay $100. Okay? $100 seems reasonable for this type of game. $60 at launch? Mm -mm, no. There was less Civs than Civ V. There seems to be less everything. Okay, so there's less civs, right? Which, you know, I wish that there was more. You know, I, you, you, civilization games, I think, live and die on the amount of ways you can play them. Okay, so there's less civ games, which is already just not good. Then the maps, there's less map variety in this game. Like, just to me, it feels like there's less of a variety of, like, maps. It just, it just seems that way to me. And that might be because I play on, like, usually eight-player maps. Sometimes I do four-player maps. But, like, for instance, the game will do something where sometimes, like, chocolate, right, will all be isolated in one area, which is kind of hilariously fun because then there's the chocolate war, right? Or sometimes it doesn't do that. But it really doesn't do that at all. It usually only does it with one resource. Why not two, you know? Or maybe there's, you know, I've had some maps in previous Civ games where there's one giant biome, right? There's like a, like a grasslands biome that just goes forever. Or there's like microbiomes. And it seems like there's less microbiomes. I love the challenge of microbiomes, by the way. Like, Shuffle kind of gives you microbiomes, but even then, it doesn't really do enough for me. Like, I wish there was just a map that was microbiomes, right? Like, I wish you could custom... Like, why can't you customize the biome size in this game, right? Because, like, if you had, like, a desert spawn you'd find more places to build, like, Petra. Like, I've had places, like, all those wonders that affect, like, Petra, right? It affects that one city's desert tiles. But there's no big enough deserts. Or there's no deserts, period. The, the desert location sucks. So there's no use, point of building Petra. So I think, like, the sieves and the maps really don't add a lot of content to the game, right? And then you have the, uh, whatchamacallits, the specialty districts, which I think planning them out is really, I like that aspect, right? Because it adds that, okay, I'm going up the tech tree, right? Already the tech tree, how you go up it is always a very fun variable, right? I love that the tech tree, you have no idea how you're going to go up this tech tree, right? You kind of have a plan with some people. Right? Like, when I play the Zulu, I usually always just get weapons and try to kill everybody. But, um, then you have that aspect of terrain, where it's like, okay, you know, I don't have currency now, but I could get it by the time I build this settler in the city, and there's this epic river that gives, like, a four plus gold, right? Or I could go to these mountains and get science. So, I like, I really love that aspect of it. Okay? I really, really do like it. Um, I just... 
there was like no civilizations. There's metas that you can get in the DLCs, like science meta civs, that weren't in the base game. I'm like, how, why is it, like, it doesn't make sense to me that, oh, sorry I keep hitting this table, by the way. It doesn't make sense to me that you would get civilizations that introduce new metas in the DLC. Okay, so let me give you an example. Sundok, Korea, has a science meta. There wasn't really a science meta civ before Sundok that I remember, okay? But then you have DLC civs like the one that starts in the water. That's like a perfect DLC civ because it's a different way to play the game, right? Like, I think that what the what happened with the DLCs was that there wasn't a lot of ways to play the original Civ 6, vanilla Civ 6. There really, it didn't seem like there was a lot of ways to play. And then they added it in, and eventually now with Gathering Storm, there's a bunch of different ways to play. And life is good. Is it worth $150? No. <clears throat> Definitely not worth $150. And I just think that Civ 6, the amount of content in the game, especially scenarios too, scenarios too there's barely any scenarios, which I, I don't play them at all, but, you know, there, there just doesn't seem to be, like, there's just less content, right? Now I go into Civ Six and I'm like, wow, there's as many civilizations as Civilization Three, you know? But, like, there's options, too. Like, customizing Civilization, I think, is, like, the best part of the game, right? Because you can, you can, like... It's nice because you can make it so it's like archipelago and you pick England, just so you can test out England, right? Like, you can test things, but then you can make real challenges, too. Like, I think it'd be really cool if you could randomize the whole tech tree. Like, the entire thing, right? Or just take the eras and randomize them. Right? I love what they did, how they added that fourth tier of governments and that last tier of technology that gets randomized. I wish you could do that to the whole freaking thing. You know, or at least manually change it. Which is something Civilization 2 you could do. You can make your whole, whole own tech tree. So, I just wish that there was more content in Civilization 6 when it came out, you know. I'm, I'm still of the opinion that Civ 7 is going to be really good because Civ 6 tried a bunch of new things and I think it flopped on a lot of them. But, <sighs> Civ 7, please have a lot of content in you. Please. That's all I gotta say. Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Civilization 6 videos. I want to start making more videos on this game again. Um, yeah, I'm Pacific Couch Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.